What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman. I want to go over a couple things real quick today. This isn't an oatmeal update because I've already eaten, but I want to go over some Bitcoin. I want to go over NVIDIA. Now, why do I want to go over NVIDIA stock? That's because the earnings are coming out after the close. This is going to directly impact stock market, which therefore will impact Bitcoin as we've seen. NVIDIA is one of the largest stocks in the ind index now and it will have a major impact now a lot of people are thinking this earnings is going to beat estimate and they're doing great and this price is so high because of ai 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 also proof of work cryptocurrencies with their gpus and also the gaming industry uh because a lot of gamers this computer that's running right now is running off a 1080 ti nvidia card um so they think things are trending in the right direction but from a technical perspective, I am very nervous. The reason being, I think this has gotten a little ahead of itself. I think these are kind of large estimates here. Uh, I don't know if they meet these, and I think even if they do just meet these, if they don't beat them by enough, so much price is baked in that this could be a big issue. Now we see Jim Cramer, we see you know, all these investment channels. Go long NVIDIA, go long NVIDIA. Well, here at Learn Crypto, we like to go against the curve. Now, if you followed us since 2017, 2018, we've been long NVIDIA for a very long time. Single digit NVIDIA. I was ahead of the curve, seeing that the proof of work that that can be done with NVIDIA and cryptocurrencies would be very, very beneficial. And if you've been around that many cycles, you do know that there was a GPU shortage due to cryptocurrency miners, uh, the dawn of professional gaming, et cetera, et cetera. But... I am not liking this. I am seeing a double top up here in price. I am seeing a bearish divergence. Bearish divergence, divergence meaning, you know, we're kind of going up, up, higher, high, higher, high. Even this is a little bit higher, high. Meanwhile, the RSI is going lower, low, lower, low, lower, low, and lower, low. That is a bearish divergence. We also see the volume parameters. Volume continues on all this rally to go lower, lower, and lower. You also have 200 moving average on the daily all the way down here at $284. Now, I don't think this thing is going to tumble down to there right now. But if you do go to the four-hour chart, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing double top, bearish divergence. They're going to either miss or barely beat meet those earnings, which isn't going to meet expectations of all these people that are FOMOing in up here at $465. And this thing is going to drop and drop rapidly. I would see a move down to this $370 mark. I was just on the phone with Todd. I said 365 to 375 is is my is where I think this thing can plummet, just based on maybe the bullish case is an A, B, C down, but that's still in very much danger. If you notice here, we do have a massive gap. We got a gap between you know 315 to 365. So if my 365 to 375 is accurate, now you risk getting to this gap, and normally gaps do fill. So you got all this open area, all this open area right here and then you still got this downside risk here so nvidia i hope those earnings are really good for the sake of all of our other bags because if nvidia misses earnings here and this thing collapses like i think it will 365 to 375 and then potentially even go down to that gap you're going to see major downward pressure on stocks for at least a couple days which is going to pull down bitcoin and why do i think it's going to pull down bitcoin well look at bitcoin overnight this already had a massive wick. What saved it was a minor bullish divergence here. We are back still just sitting at 26,000 with not much going on. When we did our first video, I drew this yellow line while this was happening. I said, we're going to see a really life rally and we're going to meander. This meander is going to be determinant on stock strength, on whether the ETF is approved on September 2nd, on various things. Okay, with downside risk here to 23,000. Elliott Wave says this could be, if this extends long enough, a C wave. Even down here to 23000 could still be a C wave. This leads us to a new move to $35,000 plus. But we have to consolidate here. We have to figure out what's going here with this pattern. If you see all these trades, buy, sell, buy, sell, all these trades, you want these live, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. If you want long-term fundamental plays in the stock market like NVIDIA, join us at, learn, at learncrypto.io or patreon.com slash learn crypto. If you want insight, you get to ask any stocks you want. Somebody brought this to my attention. Todd's been talking about the earnings today so i took a closer look that is my analysis also um we are long coinbase again we did get long coinbase yesterday if this wants to load for me right here we're slightly up maybe up a percent we sold coinbase at 105.83 and we are bought back all the way down here at 76.02 at yesterday's open so that is one long that we are 
Uh, we like to hedge into the market. So we are, that means we, we have cash for MicroStrategy. We have cash for Riot. We have cash for Penn Stock. But we want to get some exposure here. We're also in cash for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, BNB, and Solana because we sold leading into this dip. Again, we have not given a buy signal yet. Some of these are rallying because they did form some bullish divergences. As mentioned on my videos, I said this is the buy of a lifetime for BNB yesterday. Forming this bullish divergence, you would be up a few percentage points. We haven't given an official buy because we don't trade uh, on the small side like that all that much. Unless we're very certain of market direction. And right now we're just not certain of it. We're still holding out for micro strategy. It's at 335. We sold that for a 25.5% gainer up here at 389. This is the what the white line was my target price from the live show that we did on early August right here. Look at how close that is. Our projections are pretty good guys. Join us patreon.com slash learn crypto. I said riot. Look at this. We sold that for 53.3% gainers. I said I wouldn't even be looking at it until it falls to this 1375 mark. We still haven't bought and now I've been saying everybody thinks we're going sub $10 on this. So I think this could hold just above $10 and we'll get a buy entry. Well, right now the low so far is 1046. Still uncertain of market direction. This is damn near where you'd want to buy. Almost a full retrace of our last buy. And you are seeing almost a bullish cross down here on the RSI. That's when the RSI crosses through this longer MA, this yellow line. That would be a bullish cross. Now we're still ways away from a bullish cross on any of these moving averages. But again... $10 is what everybody's looking for, sub 10. So I think, you know, markets like to leave people behind. Holding above $10 would make a lot of sense. And then lastly, Penn Stock, one that we haven't traded yet or got an entry in yet. Where is it? But Penn sold out to, sold out Barstool back to Dave Portnoy, but they created a partnership with ESPN, the largest sports platform there is. I prefer FS1, but ESPN is still huge, and they're going to be doing a betting platform. This thing in COVID went up to $140. Right now it is $22. You're getting a series of lower lows and lower highs, forming bullish divergences, but also forming this right here. Do you know what happens? If this breaks out, boom. You're going to do something like this. And then you are off to the races, probably getting up to $35 or potentially $40. Now, why do I think this is possible? Well, NFL season is about to start. NBA season is about to start. ESPN partnership. You don't think ESPN is going to show that if they get a percentage of revenue? Those are also the two largest sporting, uh, sport gambling leagues, NFL and NBA. And they're both about to start. So we're getting real close. I haven't pulled the trigger yet here at 22. I wanted $20. We haven't quite got that. The low is 22.40 still. But at some point, this is a really good pattern. Am I going to kill myself over 10%? You buy here, you're risking another 10% drop, but your upside is so huge. Upside potential is massive. Even on a short macro play, you're looking at something like a 62% gainer in the stock market during this NFL and NBA season. So that's what I got, guys. Make sure to stay tuned if you like daily updates on crypto and stock technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news, then follow along. Follow us on Twitter and YouTube for free content. Join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto to get trades live. Did you sell Coinbase at 105.80 and then buy back at 76? Did you avoid the Bitcoin waterfall by selling a 1% gainer here at 29,100? Did you do all these other trades? Did you go long near the lows? Did you sell some of these peaks? Did you buy the end of the bull flag here? If not, join us. A dollar a day is all it costs. You get myself. You get Todd Butterfield and you get a thriving community. We've been here for many market cycles. The community started in 2017. I've been in crypto and Todd's been in crypto since 2016. He was calling XRP in the pennies. I was mining cryptos in 2016 with NVIDIA and that's what gave me a call on NVIDIA and AMD. We'll see how those are going. We know what we're doing. We don't always win. We're not going to be chilling you links. We're not going to be telling you we get 100Xs, but we consistently win. We consistently add more money and more tokens to your bags. And we're here to answer each and every one of your questions. Remember, market closes today. Make sure to watch the video. It is going to be the market leader for the next few days. I personally believe we're going to see a sell-off in the video. It's going to put pressure on stocks, pressure on Bitcoin, and set us up for some great buying opportunities across the board. I'll talk to you guys later.